What's going on YouTube? We had a really good response to the last video, so I'm gonna do part two of the Robot Hand series. Now, over this last week, we did get the middle finger back and we got the palm on. I'll show you guys uh, what's on the inside and a little more about the project and what happened this week. So what I wanna do with this video is just give some more explanation about the different components and pieces that go into making the hand. Like for one thing, you have the whole wrist and forearm assembly here, and you can see that there are tiny screw holes here and mount points where we're gonna have an actual circuit board and battery assembly that go in there. Then there's gonna be wires that run through and it'll have a wrist that's connected with this piece here that will be able to swivel. So that's gonna be really cool. So I've kind of organized all the different pieces for this project by using this box. Um, in this box we have all kinds of holders. So this is a holder that's going to hold a circuit board. We have the actual electrical components and then screws. So I'll show you guys some of the components. We have, uh, these are extra 3D printed pieces. They didn't come out so well. Um, these right here, just screws and screws, servo pieces, more screws, tiny screws, right? Um, and when I get to actually building a kit for you guys, all these screws are gonna be, you know, labeled and um, have a lot better organization in the kit. This is the box for one of the servo motors for the larger motor, which I will show you guys in a minute. Um, this is the actual piece that connects the wrist so that's going to look something like this and then this piece will connect to the forearm and here we also have the handboard the handboard uh, is a custom made pcb printed circuit board it has tactile sensors these are really cool to press and then you have your power and some switches we're also going to have a Arduino Micro that goes right here, and that's going to be the logic controller. We have a bag of other 3D printed parts that either have not made their way to the hand yet, or uh, are extras, or reprints. Here's the uh, rest of the hand boards. When I ordered them, you had to order it in a pack of 10. So if you guys are interested in the project and you need one of these hand boards, just let me know. I'll definitely send it to you. Um, we have ball bearings. The wrist is going to have ball bearings to swivel. Okay, then we have some more electrical components like that one, that one, and I will show you guys one of the coolest things about this project is this guy right here. So this is actually an electro myographic sensor so it's a muscle sensor it's gonna be worn on the patient's arm and as they activate their muscles it'll squeeze the robot's hand here's our battery pack and then we have some resistors and more electrical components this right here is gonna be our logic controller and then we have one more uh, circuit board that was custom made and you guys can get this from me just send me a message, and that is for the uh, for the battery charger. So that's kind of the pieces that are going to go into this thing. And again, you can look in the link uh, in the description for more technical uh, draft on paper and pictures. So let's open this guy up a little bit, and we'll take a look. So the first thing is there's going to be a screw on the right side here. And then if I move the index finger down, you can see there is another screw right here. So I'll go ahead and remove these two screws. That's one. Okay, so now both the screws are off. I'll peel this back from right here and open it up. And you can see the servos inside. So what we have done is uh, we have this little servo mounted and it is held in place by this screw right here and this other screw right here okay 
Then this week what we've done is we actually put an aluminum gear here whereas last week this was a plastic gear. So now we have our index finger and I can show you the movement of the index just by moving this guy and it's, uh, it's a pretty strong little servo there. So the index is going to have quite the torque but that's what I'm doing is just moving the index up and down. I can also show you some more of the motion of the thumb. The thumb is going to go back and forth like this and then it's also um, it will have a spring in here so that its natural state will be to uh, be held closed like this but then it'll open up as the person uses it to press against something. And then here's another size comparison guys. My hand uh, is a, just a little bit bigger than this hand. Uh, of course it can't spread its fingers like this but it can go up and down. Alright and then besides that we got our middle finger here put on this week. So these three fingers are linked together if you guys can see these uh, plastic pieces right here and then they're held right now with screws to to the other pieces so so we have these little linkages to this finger and this one is linked to this finger okay and then this finger is controlled by this bar back to the servo so when I move the servo all fingers move together all right so that's some really cool stuff right there Here's the palm side of it. So eventually we will have this plastic gear replaced by aluminum so that both of the gears and the index finger are going to be aluminum. So that's it for part two of this video series. Click the link in the description if you want to see the tutorial about how to build your own hand. I'll also offer any of the parts that I have for you guys so you can build it yourself. Uh, if you like this channel, you feel free to subscribe. I'm going to have videos about uh, using Python to create uh, Instagram posts automatically every four hours where it'll post a picture or a video and grab those from a different source and then put them on in your Instagram so you can grow your Instagram pages organically, automatically using computer programming. If you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. I'll have that video series starting in a month. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching.